That's official. Yeah. of our state park system. An iconic landmark in Southern Colorado, the highest peak east of Highway 25 at 9,600 feet above sea level. And until now, the only access to much of this area was through New Mexico. Here in Colorado, we truly love our public land. Uh, not just for our own use and enjoyment, but also for the economic benefit it brings, the tourism and the recreation dollars, uh, whether it's people from New Mexico coming up or people from Texas and California and New York coming to spend time in beautiful Colorado with their families and being able to invest in our local economies. This new park will give folks the opportunity to access this amazing area from Trinidad. It'll boost local businesses and jobs here in Southern Colorado. And we're looking forward to working with Parks and Wildlife to work with our local partners in our communities to plan the future of the land as a state park. We expect in the executive order that I'll be signing in a few moments that the area will have the improvements in, in place and be open to public visitation by January of 2021. This day is something that I personally have wanted to see for many, many, many years. I know that several citizens in the city of Trinidad have wanted to see the same thing, but like the governor was saying, it's always been off limits because it has been in the hands of private ownership uh, up until now. In 2017, this process began, and uh, from there we have developed a tremendous partnerships, and there are five partners in this, the city of Trinidad, Trust for Public Lands, Nature Conservancy, Colorado Parks and Wildlife, and GOCO Colorado. I have never worked with such a group of people that have gelled together to make something happen. So we're hoping for a late fall, early winter of 2020. So late next year, approximately a year from now, a year and a month, a year and two months, uh, we hope to be able to have an even bigger celebration for a ribbon cutting.